past. I remember laying in bed for hours and hours at a time wondering, how am I going to get out of this? How am I ever going to be successful? Is this the end? Is this where my life stops? And I was even contemplating at times taking my own life. That's how bad it got. Today, I want to share with you how I went from depressed, overweight, broke to now being in the best shape of my life, having a beautiful family and running a multi-million dollar business. In the past 15 years, I've been through a lot and I hope that some of the lessons I've learned along the way will help you wherever you are in your journey today, whether you're feeling depressed, feeling really down, feeling hopeless, or if you're starting to get success and you just want to get to that next level, today's video is going to help you. So sit back, relax. Let's cover what the past 15 years look like. As a kid, I grew up poor. My dad was a military guy supporting a family of six kids. I was the oldest. And I remember everything, especially around our nutrition, was cheap. It was fish sticks. It was whatever my mom could make in bulk to feed all of us and also keep a roof over our head and have money to pay the bills. But I never had the fancy stuff, never had video games, never had the latest and greatest stuff. Clothes was <laughs> few and far between. I remember having a couple pairs of pants, a couple shirts. Life wasn't extravagant, but my nutrition honestly didn't really hurt me because I was so active. I didn't have video games, so I was out in the yard pretending to be Ken Griffey Jr., Bo Jackson, Michael Jordan, and my whole childhood was spent being an athlete. I was just someone who used my imagination to get out there and experience things that I couldn't experience through all the fancy stuff that a lot of my friends had. Luckily, I was really active. Otherwise, the nutrition that we had as kids probably would have contributed to some weight gain. Uh, and looking at it now, if I was eating that way now, I would be clearly overweight. But eventually, my eating habits did catch up to me. Food, for the most part, was a way for me to cope with stress. Uh, my parents went through a really ugly divorce in my teenage years, and I remember eating thousands and thousands of calories every day from school lunch to Taco Bell to all sorts of things in between and even drinking alcohol in high school. And those habits really reared their ugly head as I got into my early 20s. I went to college and was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. After sports was over, I had no real clear purpose or direction. I became a personal trainer, but I wasn't making enough money to support myself. In fact, I made such little money that I got kicked out of my first apartment because I couldn't pay the rent. I then transitioned to starting my own business and I was selling life insurance investments, which to me looking back made no sense. I had no experience, nothing to stand on that I could actually help people with this stuff because I had no experience doing it myself. And it's no surprise that that business failed miserably. So I was broke and honestly really depressed. I remember laying in bed for hours and hours at a time wondering, how am I going to get out of this? How am I ever going to be successful? Is this the end? Is this where my life stops? And I was even contemplating at times taking my own life. That's how bad it got. I gained a ton of weight. I gained over 60 plus pounds during those early 20 years because I was eating myself into oblivion. I was reverting back to the habits I had as a kid, which was cheap food, something that tasted really good, they could give me that momentary pleasure just to take my mind off of all the things I was struggling with. At one point, I even went semi-pro with playing poker online because it was just a way for me to make money and I didn't really know how to make money back then. I was going from job to job. I had lost a business. I got into sales, found a little bit of success there, but once again, was just trying to find a place where I could be successful. My diet back then was Taco Bell, pizza, Kit Kats, ordering everything in between, go to 7-Eleven, get the taquitos, it was awful. I would drink alcohol. I'd even partake in recreational drug use because honestly, I was just trying to be cool. I was trying for people to like me, to show me any kind of support uh, because I was lost myself. Internally, I had zero self-belief. I had no idea where my life was headed. At one point, I ballooned up to 260 pounds. My XXL shirts were tight. My suits were huge because my frame was expanding by the week. I had suffered from acne in my teenage years and it actually came back in my early 20s because my nutrition was so poor. And if you're sitting there thinking like some of this stuff is things I deal with too, or I'm just in a really tough place mentally right now, I'm going through some chapters in life where maybe you've had success in some arenas, maybe it is with your business, maybe it is financially, and you've maybe started a family, but maybe your relationship isn't where you want it to be, or maybe you look in the mirror and you hate what you see. You've gained so much weight over the years and you're wondering, how am I ever gonna get this on track? Well, let me share some strategies that I use to go from depressed, overweight, broke as a joke, to now being a millionaire, someone who has a beautiful family, and honestly, someone who has his life together focusing on things that matter from my faith to my family to my fitness. 
being in the best shape of my life in all areas, here's how I did it. One of the things I did during this really dark period was I hired coaches. Uh, in my 20s, I actually ended up hiring over four coaches. A lot of them sucked, to be honest, but I remember my first one that I ever invested in. It wasn't expensive, at least looking back on it now. Back then it was, I think it was like five bucks to join this guy's website. His name was Greg Plitt. He was a fitness coach and his message inspired me. It's inspired me to realize that I had a little bit of hope. I didn't need to give up. I could start using fitness to improve my life. And it wasn't perfect, but it literally got me off the couch and out of bed for periods of time. And from then I started to fall in love with this whole self-improvement, investing in myself deal. And I hired some pretty bad coaches at times. I lost money doing it. But once I hired some great coaches and saw an enormous ROI on my investment, I fell in love with coaching itself. And I realized this is what I wanna do for other people. I want to wake people up and help them realize that they have a lot more potential than they think because I wanna pay it forward. So I invested in myself. That was the first thing I did. I started taking better care of myself, but I made a lot of mistakes. I tried every diet under the sun. I mean, you name it, I did it. And I realized diets suck. <laughs> they always lead you back to where you started because they're not sustainable. And so in that process, I learned a lot about nutrition. I learned that nutrition can be simple. Focusing on your calories, focusing on getting enough protein and eating healthy foods is really all you need to do. And once I mastered that, I mastered my nutrition in a big way and I started to maintain a much lower level of body fat. I lost a ton of weight, kept it off. And now today I live in my best shape, getting better every single year in my late 30s because I have such a simple system. And so learning nutrition and realizing the simplicity behind it was a major next step. When I was in my 20s, I tried to train every day, sometimes twice a day to get the weight off, to get my body back, to get my mind right. But you don't need to do that. I realized over the years that if I could go back in time, I probably would have just worked out three or four days a week, spent more time investing in my knowledge of other things and using fitness is really like my morning coffee and just getting me started for the day instead of something that I thought, oh no, if I don't go work out twice a day, I'm gonna lose all my progress. That's not the case. In fact, you need that time outside the gym to recover. And nowadays, three or four days a week of workouts combined with just a nice walk every day, it's a beautiful way to stay in shape and honestly, keep your mental health where it needs to be. Last but not least, I had a system for getting motivated and I discovered this uh, over the years of dealing with a lack of motivation, a lack of discipline. And it was a few things and one of the biggest things though that I think will help you right away is what I call the 10 minute rule. This is simply doing what I don't wanna do, even though I know I need to do it for just 10 minutes before I decide to quit, before I decide to give up on it for the day. This could be your workout, this could be your diet, your nutrition. This could be a tough conversation that you just don't wanna have. Anything you know you need to do, just do it for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, reassess. And I promise you, 99% of the time, you're gonna do 10 minutes, you're gonna then do 15, 20, 30, whatever it takes to get it done, because you're gonna realize it's not that hard. And all of a sudden, you're gonna feel a lot more motivated because you did a small piece of it, and you realize, oh, I can do the whole thing. I know it sounds simple, but give it a try. Um, I actually did a whole video on the 10 minute rule. I'll post it here that you can go check out. It's a much deeper examination of this rule that I've created. But this, my friends, is how you create motivation in your day. It works, give it a shot. This video gets 100 likes. I'm going to drop my unbreakable mindset course for free in the comments if this video gets 100 likes. So like the video, and when it, once it's at 100, come back. I'll drop the link in the comments for you to download it for free to take your mind to a whole new level. So much for watching. I hope this story inspired you. Obviously, there's a lot more details that I could get into, and maybe I will on a future video. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, if you want me to go deeper on my journey from broke, overweight, to someone who's successful, uh, and not just with finances, but someone who's successful with how I look at life, the fulfillment, the happiness I get out of things looks a whole lot different these days. My kids are amazing, my wife is amazing. I'm very blessed, I feel like one of the luckiest guys on the planet, but at the end of the day, it took a lot of work and I'd love to share more with you if you want. So let me know in the comments if you do. Get this video to 100 likes, I'll drop my Unbreakable Mindset course. And uh, can't wait to talk to you in the next one. Life moves fast, make it count.